Hello, my friends. So I thought for our Google skills, I would show something a little bit different. We've been spending a lot of time on things in the Google Classroom, some things with our drive, and I've got a ton of other things that I want to show you. I mean, there's just so much for us to have. But I thought I would take a little detour and take a look at Google Calendar because I think while we all use it and access it maybe to different degrees, there are some ways in which we can take this calendar to help organize ourselves as well as give our students some skills that they can use to be more effective in organization and understanding what's important and that type of thing. So let's take a look at it here. Uh, I'm, we're, we're looking here at um, my calendar, and most of you probably have your calendar set to the default view of the month, which is a lot that I can't really see. I get all these like four more, six more, three more, and I'm sure a lot of you at this point in time have a lot of things on your calendar between all the meetings and Zooms and Google Meets and office hours and everything else in between. So there, when you go down here, you have a lot of different views. And you have the, your keyboard shortcuts, which again, not to add more keyboard shortcuts, but there are some really nice ones where you can easily flip through and toggle, you know, D for day, W for week, M for month. But what you can do in here is if you go to settings, I'm going to go to settings here. And one of the things that I really like for me personally is I, I've gone down here To this section here of view options and you can create a custom view and now for me I really like a two-week view and there's some other ones that you can see here I like two weeks it gives me everything for my week and gives me one week in advance it got, tends to be where a lot of planning happens I like that one so I'm gonna put that there you know and you can change all your different sets. there's so much here for your calendar to really customize it uh, but for me I'm gonna use the two weeks and for me, I believe that shortcut is now X. So here it is, just my, my two-week spread. This helps me see what's going on this week. I can kind of look ahead to the, to the next week. Now, I just think that's important for ourselves to figure out the method that works really well for you. But what I want to show you is this. In this drop-down menu, you have this one called Schedule. And I really like this view. What it does is it puts everything kind of in a sequential linear order by the days of the week and by time. To me, this is really valuable, especially when we want to teach our students some of these skills right now, where they could go to this view and now my, my own children can look at it and go, okay, on Tuesday, I've got boom, boom, boom. i got to take care of these things because, boy, Wednesday is really looking to be a busy day. Or know to go to look ahead and go, okay, Wednesday i got a lot of assignments to do. What am I going to be doing on Monday and Tuesday? And so this is where it becomes important for you as an educator to think about um, due dates and when you want things tentatively turned in. I know we have lots of restrictions to think, but you can always give suggestion dates so kids can kind of keep a sequence and a thing because everything you create in Google Classroom shows up on their calendar when you put in due dates. More importantly, with this view, now they can look at it and kind of see like what they've got going on for the week. And I just think that this is a really, really valuable tool to show kids. I know, um, my kids don't use Google Calendar enough. I wish they did. But when I show them these things of how they can change the view, you know, the calendar doesn't really help them. I like this in planning to see what I have available for time. But they have found the schedule to be an effective view. Like it helps them almost like a checklist. And we can get into this more. But then what you can do is if some of these are tasks, some of these might be meetings, I could then, I'm a huge Google Keep user. I could then start to embed my Google Keep and start to figure out some stuff over here in terms of like urgent or do soon or that type of thing. Or if you are a task user, you could create some task as well um, and you could start to overlay that. So I don't want to get too far into those weeds because I know this here could be plenty for you to process, but just realize that we've got some really great things that we can do with our Google Calendar. So um, let me know your thoughts. How are you using Google Calendar? Maybe you don't use it at all. Maybe you have a whole different method that's even better. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. Let us know. Let's share with one another. Let's make our lives a little bit better. Hopefully this helps you. Uh, maybe learn a few new tips and tricks with your own structure and be thinking about how can we turn around and teach this with our own students while we have this opportunity not just to teach some content and standards but also some life skills of organization and trying to figure out what method works best for them all right my friends hope you found it helpful as always peace